Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Ahrefs and more specifically, I am going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you sign up and create an Ahrefs account? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to create an Ahrefs account anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know, it's important to keep up to date on SEO for your particular website, or even if you're managing websites for other clients and and Ahrefs is a popular tool to do that. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in the Ahrefs website. It's H, I'm sorry, ahrefs.com. Check my video description. I'll try to leave a referral link there. Once you get here to their homepage, this is going to be the sign up screen. And in order to create an Ahrefs account, you want to click on this hamburger menu here on the top right. Once you do that, you want to click on sign up. Okay, so here you get to choose which plan you're going to sign up for. If you're just getting started out, a lot of people sign up for the light plan. However, if you're running an agency, a lot of folks will use the standard or the advanced. So this is going to depend on how many websites you're going to be managing, especially if you're managing websites for other people. As you scroll down, you can see here on on the limits. So the different projects that you can use on the light is going to be unlimited for any of your websites that you can verify ownership for. However, if you're going to be working and pulling data for unverified websites that you can't verify ownership, there is a limit. So just choose whichever one applies to you for today's video. I'm going to go ahead and sign up for the light plan. So I'm going to click on get started. Okay. So here is the sign up screen to create a new account for Ahrefs. So today we're signing up for the light monthly plan, which is $99 per month. They do give a discount if you sign up for annually but just keep in mind, you have to pay for that all at once. If you want to do that, just click this little button and it's going to change the price. You can see the monthly works out to about $83 per month. For this video, I'm just going to do the monthly. Next, you do want to go ahead and enter in the email address that you want associated with your Ahrefs account, and then also agree to the privacy policy right here. So I'm going to go ahead and enter this information in off screen and then click on continue. Okay, next, when you're signing up for an Ahrefs account, they want you to agree to the terms and conditions. So go ahead and just read through all this. And if you agree to it, scroll to the bottom and click on this accept and continue button. Okay, next it brings me to this screen. They're asking for my first name, last name, verify your email. You can put your company name if you have a company attached to this where you want the invoices to be listed and then your phone number if you wish to do so. This does help you log in if you forget your password. So I'm going to go ahead and enter this information in off screen. Okay, next they're asking for the billing address. So this is the billing address that should match up with your credit card billing details. So I'm going to enter this information in off screen. Okay, next Ahrefs is asking me to put the 16 digit credit card number, expiration date, and three digit security code. You can also use Apple Pay to pay for your new Ahrefs account that you're setting up if you wish to do so. For me, I'm going to go ahead and enter in my credit card information in off screen. Okay, next it comes up to the revision screen. So you want to make sure it looks like all the information is correct. If so, go ahead and click on this subscribe button. It's going to be in orange down here at the bottom. Okay, next you get this confirmation screen saying that I need to activate my account with the email that was sent from Ahrefs in order to create my new account. So let me jump on over to that email and show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's the email that I received from Ahrefs in order to set up my new account. So I need to click on this orange confirm email button. Okay, as soon as you click there, it's going to have you set up a password for your new Ahrefs account and then also confirm your password. And then you can also agree to receive weekly newsletters from them. I don't really like to do that, but that's up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this out off screen. Okay, next Ahrefs is asking if I want to go ahead and invite team members. Just note that if you're going to invite other folks into your Ahrefs account that you created, you will be charged $50 per month per user. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and skip that because it's just me working on this. So I'll click on skip. Okay, here you get the chance to go ahead and import your Google search console if you wish to do so. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to click on add manually. Okay, just a quick second later, it brings me here to my Ahrefs dashboard. So you can go ahead and start working on your projects by adding your projects here at the bottom. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to create an Ahrefs account, that is the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.